ladies and gentlemen, Billy Sorrell! <laughs> Y'all keep it going for Kev on stage. Keep it going. Give it up for Marcus Nasty and staying up here. Let me tell you something. When them women that say you see this goddamn broadcast, they're gonna be like, oh God, amen, amen. It's balls on keep your distance. It is balls up there. Get my rose. That boy did not leave. You know he getting old. That nigga stay freaky with that. And what you young girls need to get, get you an old nigga like that, man. Get you an old man. He gonna make you feel like Beyonce. So what your goddamn body ain't done? Old niggas don't give a fuck. <laughs> Soon as you come out the bedroom, look at that, that is all right. <laughs> that is all right with me. <laughs> Woo! So what your stomach hanging over your panties? He don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about that goddamn stomach. <laughs> I got something for this stomach. Get that car jack and get it right in the right place. Jack that shit. <laughs> Look at all that good pussy under there. Look at all that under there. Look at that. It's like transmission fluid. Look at that. That's some Compton right there. That's Compton. That's some of that fish scale, that oil base. That's unstepped on. Don't you let no nigga no goddamn KNG suit get behind you like that. Especially one of them gas station pills in the system. You know, Marcus then took the Viagra and the gas station pill before he came up here. <laughs> he was in the back rubbing his shit, tugging it. Gotta get that thing on medium, gotta get that dick dog ready for him. <laughs> big show tonight, boy, big show. <laughs> you know, nigga like Marcus, nigga like Marcus get you home and how you doing all type of freaky shit. Oh, yeah, spread right there, baby. Let me take a picture of that thing. Look at that right there. <laughs> <laughs> spread it open for me, spread it open for the idiot. Now, he didn't got your ass in a position you ain't been in since college. You face down, ass up in the pillow. What we doing right now? <laughs> Just stay right there. Just stay right there. Just stay right there. <laughs> hey, what you doing? What you doing? Oh, you know you're supposed to knock before you come to somebody's house. <laughs> Breaks in the front. Breaks in the trunk. Breaks to make you a superstar. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. And these are the brakes. You know them old niggas making sounds. Wait, 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 You know, young girls, oh, you want this pussy, wanna fuck with me, wanna fuck with me. Nigga turn into a German shepherd. Yeah, he turned into a German Nazi soldier. He's the, 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 over with. Them old niggas don't be giving a fuck, boy. They trying to clean it up right there. Don't even worry about that. Them old niggas don't give a fuck, man. Shout out to all the old men watching around the world right now. You gotta be careful. Gotta show love. Man, I couldn't go no further without seeing this. Uh, long live Teddy Ray. Long live Teddy Ray. <laughs> Teddy's my brother, man. Teddy's my brother. Uh, Lived with me for a little while. Took Teddy on the road first. One of the dopest people you could ever see. Teddy was born in prison. And he showed me you can make it from nothing. Had every reason not to be successful and he pushed the fuck through. Teddy's the best person to give you the best worst news ever. <laughs> if you want bad news, you want Teddy to tell you. <laughs> he knows how to tell you. Teddy was watching my crib. I went on the road to do some shows. I come back. It's 94 degrees outside. Teddy out there in the middle of the street, in the middle of goddamn Compton, shirt off, <laughs> sweatpants with a blunt in his hand. Just listen, bro, just listen. I got something to tell you, I got good news, I got bad news. Take this blunt first, just take it, just hit it, bro. Matter of fact, I can't even say that, just come inside, I wanna show you. I walk inside, we go to my bed, my bed is broke in half. <laughs> like Shaq done pulled the headboard off that bitch. It's a $2,500 bed. Teddy then broke that bitch. It's on the ground. <laughs> just go smoke that shit, bro. Say, I had to. Just let me say something. I had to clap them cheeks. Some cheeks had to get clapped. This was a billion dollar clappage I had to do. 
I say, Teddy, how did you break my goddamn bed? Listen, I'm 325, she 285. <laughs> <laughs> I said, nigga, what was you thinking doing that? Well, you know, the way, you know, I, I did deductive reasoning with many women and we and you and your ex-wife have in the bedroom, you said it could take the weight. I was like, Teddy, you broke this bitch. Teddy didn't give a fuck. He said, but guess what, though? I booked the do show. I clapped them cheeks for you, big dog. Nigga, <laughs> 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 for me? <laughs> for me? Like, I love, I love Teddy. Long live Teddy White, man. Teddy, I love you, bro. Um, <laughs> I inspire you all to uh, get yourself checked out, especially black men. Go to the doctor, find out what's going on with you. Um, went to the doctor a couple months ago and uh, was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Um, only thing that I've ever really been afraid of in my life, brain tumor, stage two cancer. Um, and I was scared to tell people why. Because, you know, people, first of all, you start losing weight and your head start getting big. First thing they want to tell you, you smoking crack. So <laughs> second thing is um, I didn't know what to say. Uh, the fear hit me. I got the MRI and the CAT scan. Lady's like, hey, you got a tumor here. Um, and so I'm looking at it. She was like, you ain't having headaches? Like your head not hurting? Like you not feeling it? I was like, nah. She said, what are you doing to deal with the pain, pain management? I was like, nothing. And I thought, I was like, oh, wait, cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's knocking all that shit out. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> First time drugs came to a benefit in my goddamn life. She's like, you, you still standing? I was like, yeah, it's knocking all that out. So we're working with the finest doctors to get the best straw to get all the way back there. <laughs> yeah. I want to get that dope right to the problem. <laughs> yeah. So when I'm snorting, goddamn it, I'm trying to live. They're going to put drugs in my system, goddamn it. It's, it's not just going to be radiation. I ain't worried about that. Uh, I'm living my life fearlessly now. That being said, I want to thank my brother Kev on stage, man. Give it up for Kev on stage, God damn it. <laughs> Flew me all the way out here, man. Got me living nice and didn't think I was going to roast his goddamn ass. <laughs> hey, man, I love him and Melissa, man. That's the, bur that's the perfect couple right there. See, you can look at Kev and see that in his eyes he's never been called a fuck nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that's like? You don't know that toxicity I got on me. <laughs> Melissa only been with him. That's it. They only know each other. You don't know what it's like to have your woman tell you, yeah, your dick ain't the best dick I ever had in my life. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't know how to hit your soul. Kevin still, he got his dignity right there. <laughs> him and Melissa prayers ain't like mine. She praying for shit. I ain't never heard a woman say, but God, if he would just flip me over and not just do me missionary, amen? <laughs> if you would just let him get nasty, amen? <laughs> I want these cheeks clap a different way, amen? Kev look like he'd say grace for you, pussy. You know, Father God, I want to I wanna get down here. I want to bless this bountiful woman that is spread upon us, you know. Kevin and Melissa be having sex to Kirk Franklin. Everybody say, stomp. The preacher say, stomp. I promise to stomp the whole stomp. Nothing but the stomp. It ain't over. It ain't over. Stomp. <laughs> and he Kev in here living goddamn life. Kev out here, he the, he's the gospel Suge Knight taking everybody. <laughs> and God, when I take their rights in perpetuity, I'm going to give them back to you, amen? <laughs> if someone should own their soul in comedy, it should be you, Father God. We want to give it all back to him, the praise, and amen. $500, amen, their soul is yours. Kev flew us out here real nice, got us staying nice, got us a driver. I'm proud of you, Kev. I love you, man. Love you. Give up, Kev, and stay. <laughs> you know, thinking about Teddy, thinking about people that we've lost, uh, I encourage you, man, support people who are going through grief. Uh, I lost my father a few years ago, and uh, it was hard, hard for me to process. Uh, I say this on behalf of anybody that's lost somebody. Do the family a favor. Please, please, please stop texting dead people. Somebody got their goddamn phone. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you niggas, y'all niggas get a little too emotional in this bitch. Y'all get to text it enough. My daddy died on a Friday. He was a high school principal. Monday morning, 6.30 in the morning, his coworker saved in his phone as Casey from the job. <laughs> Texting his phone 6.30 in the morning. I'm crying, been drinking, doing drugs all goddamn weekend, emotionally messed up. Laying there in the bed with my wife at the time. Phone go off, my daddy phone. Bling, 6.30 in the morning. Who is it, y'all? Casey from the job. <laughs> I slide a message open and I read it. Hey, Bill, it's me. Casey from the job. <laughs> it's about 6.30 and I'm just thinking about you. I'm on my way to work listening to a little Anita Baker. Some you listen to. I miss you. This your boy, Casey from the job. <laughs> I turned to my wife, I said, man, what the hell is this nigga doing? She, he, he's grieving, everybody grieves differently. You gotta let him have his process. I said, I'm grieving, I'm dealing with shit. I'm the oldest of three. I got two younger sisters, Joanna and Brittany, and they gullible as hell. We're on a family conference call. My sister gets on crying. Uh, we, we need to get all our money together. We need to pay off all the daddy credit card debt. I said, no the fuck we not. <laughs> Me and daddy got the same goddamn name. Daddy said, get the bag, goddamn it. We finna get the goddamn bag. I'm going down to Home Depot, I'm finna run this Home Depot account up. <laughs> if you want something, better meet me down here. <laughs> Fuck Bank of America. Fuck Capital One. <laughs> if the bitches want some money, they better dig, goddammit. I'm finna get the goddamn bag. <laughs> Daddy said that back room was hot, I'm finna get me two of them portable AC units. If you want something, better meet me down there. <laughs> Blowing cold in that bitch, it's like iceberg. Living life, my other sister, well, uh, the funeral home, they called, we need to get $2,700 down there uh, for an inbound for daddy. I said, no, the fuck, we not doing that. Dad already paid, already prepaid for his funeral. He won't be cremated. Give me the goddamn phone. I'm going to talk to them. I called the funeral home. They all, you know, they so, so, so polite. I called, hey, uh, what's going on, brother? Oh, brother, amen. We just want to mourn the loss of brother <laughs> Willie Calvin Sorrells Jr., amen, who has died and gone. Hey, nigga, I ain't trying to hear all that, nigga. What's... What's all this about $2,700? Nigga, we ain't doing that. <laughs> hey, man, well, your daddy doesn't have any clean drawers to put on. Fuck it, burn him naked, goddammit. Light him up. <laughs> I'm at Home Depot right now. What you need? Propane, butane, <laughs> kerosene. Light him up, goddammit. You niggas ain't finna get the bag on me. I'm finna get the bag. Light him the fuck up. Let's go. I get some gas logs. Nigga, what do you need? I'm finna get the bag. And I saw that goddamn obituary they did. They had my dad in the obituary with a young-ass picture. Yeah, my daddy was the same age as me on the goddamn picture. Everybody trying to figure out when the fuck my brother died. That ain't my goddamn brother, that's my goddamn daddy. Got my daddy in front of a goddamn phantom with a Gucci bag on and some clouds and some lightning bolts. My daddy like a ghetto X-Man. Get my daddy out them goddamn clouds, you son of a bitch. I'm dealing with shit, I'm grieving. About that time, it was about 11.30. Phone goes off again. Who is it, y'all? Casey. From the job. <laughs> Slide the text open, I read it. Hey Bill, it's me. Your boy. Casey. From the job. Man, me and some of the cues are getting together doing the step for you, even though you're a captain man. Hey. Hey. We love you. This your boy. Casey. From the job. Turn to my wife, I said, he got one more time, and I'm gonna get his ass with him. I know what he's asking for. I'm dealing with shit. He got one more time, and I'm going to give him what he want. You know why? Because I'm stressed the fuck out. My daddy named me so beneficiary. You know why? Because his wife is stupid. <laughs> She's super stupid. <laughs> it's the lady that came through when, when my child was being born. She called the hospital, asked me, did you have a boy? I said, no. She said, well, what you have? <laughs> a Ninja Turtle, bitch. That's what I had. <laughs> the fuck you calling me asking me this stupid shit for? <laughs> Same lady can't help me with shit. I'm trying to get the obituary done. I sent her the obituary file. She called me back 15 minutes later. Oh, uh, child, I can't even open this file up. I can't even get this, this PDF open. What's this, this PDF? What is this? This PDF ain't opening. I can't get that open. What is this PDF? What is that? That's a PDF. Get your ass off my goddamn phone. She didn't open up the PDF on goddamn Microsoft Paint. Got my daddy looking like Super Mario in this bitch. She's stupid. Same lady. My daddy put her over paying the bills in the goddamn house. It came down to it, she had to pay the light bill or the cable bill. Ask me which one this lady paid. The cable. cable bill. Daddy and her sitting in the goddamn dark. She's talking about, I want you to watch your stove. Bitch, I can't watch nothing in the dark. <laughs> She's stupid. 
dealing with shit, man. You know, when you make bad decisions, bad, this shit keep happening. See, Kev's life is on point, man. I see it. Kev's life is all the way on point. All his kids in the same house. <laughs> you know, he, he got his shit together. See, hood niggas, we just want to get all our kids together for a picture. That's all. <laughs> That's all we want. We just want to see them all together and post them. Tired of stealing pictures off my baby mama page and reposting them on my page. <laughs> Real niggas know the struggle. See, I was making bad decisions. I was out there drinking bad, getting fucked up, going to the club on Mexican night. You know you ain't supposed to be in there on Mexican night. <laughs> ain't even playing no nigga music. I'm in that bitch. Thang, 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 thang. I'm getting <laughs> fucked up crying about my goddamn daddy. I'm in there talking to something I don't got no business talking to. I'm talking to a full-blown stud at the bar. I walked up, I seen in her goddamn JaVinci jeans. I walk up, still behind her. I was like, what's up? She's like, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. Ain't with all that straight shit, my nigga. I said, my bad, Queen Latifah. She's like, I like what you like. I was like, no, nah, baby, I like what you got. We start taking shots. Mexican night, they shots 88 cents a piece. I done spent $12. We fucked up. Straight Patron. Patron bring the bad bitch out anybody. She turned to me, her whole demeanor different. She's like, I'm so fucked up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I looked at her, I was like, bitch, me too. <laughs> this bitch 6'2", she walking behind me like I'm her bitch. I'm trying to turn around and kiss this hoe, we making out, we looking like a cute lesbian couple. <laughs> you know you in the club fucking with something you ain't supposed to be fucking with when the bouncer points you out. Oh, that nigga tripping right there, that nigga. <laughs> Bobby V, that's a, that's a stud. Oh, that nigga wildin'. <laughs> Shit, I took her back to our house. She had, you know, I went right to the business, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting this shit popped off. I took my Jordans off. She took her Jordans off. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She, I pushed it down in bed. She was like, what you about to do? I said, I'm about to show it to you. I, I got ready to pop it off, and then I seen it. I looked down there, and it was glowing. I got the vibrator. I picked it up. I felt the power in that motherfucker. I felt it. That's when I hit it with some of that real dick. Fake dick. <laughs> Real dick, fake dick. Real dick, fake dick. Real dick, fake dick. Real dick, fake dick. Over here and kill the pussy. OJ style. I'm tearing her ass out the frame. Bro, don't be telling nobody what the fuck you did to me. I was like, yeah, anybody been saying about this? <laughs> Told her ass up. Walked out of there, put her WNBA jersey on. <laughs> put her LA Sh Sparks jersey. Whoa, that is, I mean, is Two months later, she gonna hit my phone up. I knew what she wanted, round two. I answered the phone, I was like, what's up? Hey, bro, what the fuck you did to me? I done missed my period, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Say, well, congratulations, you about to be a single father, bitch. <laughs> Black! <laughs> what you do to them studs? You let them be the mama and the daddy. That's it. She got it, she double, double duty. Yeah, man, uh, Kev, thank you, man. You've been there for me for some of my darkest days, bro. Uh, keep continuing to be a light. Keep giving opportunities to everybody. Everybody give it up for Kev on stage. Uh, <laughs> gotta stay nice, man, and um, just say this, bro. Nice accommodations last night. I cried a lot, thought about Teddy, thought about just people that we lost. It's fucked up. Uh, about 1.45, I went down to the bar downstairs, got a beer and a couple shots, went back to the room. Motion was on me heavy. Uh, thinking about what's going on with me. By two o'clock, my daddy phone went off again. <laughs> Who is it, y'all? Casey, from the job. Slid it open, and I read it. Hey, Bill, it's me. Casey, from the job. I'm just up here watching Stranger Things, wonder where you are. Are you okay? What you got going on? At that time, I was drunk and high. I replied to the goddamn message. I said, oh, man, shit, me, Teddy Ray, Nipsey Hussle, and Tupac, we up here about to shoot dice and go fuck with some hoes. Where you at? <laughs> Send. <laughs> Nigga, when them three dots started coming up, <laughs> I know he was frantic. At that point, I'm drunk and high. I don't want my daddy Facebook wall. I'm replying to the R.I.P. messages. <laughs> we miss you, Bill. I miss you, too. <laughs> I love you, Bill. I love you, too. <laughs> Bill, is this you? Ooh. I'm Billy Sorrells, y'all. We love you, Teddy. <laughs>